For thousands of years, humans have been attempting to organise Earth's life. Some early pioneers in this area were Aristotle, Theophrastus and Pliny the Elder. However, the method we use today to categorise organisms was published by Swedish botanist and zoologist Carl Linnaeus in 1735. There are eight levels of the classification of organisms. Domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus and species. The highest rank of classification is domain. The current domain system sorts life into three separate categories. Archaea, bacteria and eukarya. This channel will focus primarily on eukarya, which contains plants, animals and fungi. Each of these groups forms a collection called a kingdom. Next, we go down to the phyla, such as arthropoda and chordata. Within phyla are several classes. Chordata, for example, contains the amphibia, mammalia, reptilia and aves. Each of these classes contains several orders. Mammalia, for example, contains 27 orders, including carnivora, rodentia, artiodactyla and the primates. Within these orders are numerous families, with carnivora containing a lot of recognisable families such as Felidae, the cats. Each of these families contains several genera, for example Felidae contains the genera Felis, Asinonyx, Panthera and Puma, amongst others. Each genus can also contain several species, for example Panthera includes five living species, the lion, the jaguar, the leopard, the tiger and the snow leopard. Together, these species can be found across Africa and Asia, and can also be split into several subspecies, but that is a topic for a different time. <laughs>